this is Amanda Sherratt. I was part of the Nursing and Midwifery Skype um, trial. Um, the highs of the innovation project, personally, I'm quite used to using Skype anyway in different areas uh, where I've worked before. Um, Skype offers some brilliant resources to be able to capture video and to record and upload those types of videos and things onto eBridge. I've also used it for a lot of student support and I also very, very like the capture and the screen share modes that you can, uh, you can do with your students. Um, it means the students don't have to come all the way to Hull to be able to have any academic supervision and I can access them at their convenience as well as my own. Um, personally, I love Skype, I love using a lot of the e-resources that we have. For the students, it gives them access to me a bit more readily so I can get the kids to bed and then manage my, my student sort of support and supervision after hours really, when it, when it suits me or the, or, the, or the students. For staff, faculty and university, I see Skype being really open to a lot of research interventions and, and the things that we can sort of use as far as, um, as, far as capturing data, perfect. Um, the slows of the innovation project that I was part of, a lot of staff needed a bit more information and advice on, um, on how to use Skype. I think it's really user friendly and it's pretty easy to pick up, but there were a few members of staff who were just a bit slow to start with and a bit apprehensive about having a, d a video in their office. Um, I think that made it slightly slower. Equally, we have issues with the NHS and the fact that they don't allow Skype in, in their clinical areas, which I think is just outdated. We need to look at how we can integrate these types of things within the clinical interface as well. It makes absolute sense. What do I think would be achieved taking part in the project? Personally, my reason for taking part in the project is because I've used Skype before, I've used lecture capture, and it makes absolute sense for me to be able to talk to a student face to face. Did the project achieve my hopes and fulfil my aspirations? It fulfilled the aspirations that I felt that I needed to achieve with it. Um, I think there's a lot more that we could do for, for students, um, especially if we could get Skype into clinical areas, but that's a different project. The project worked as far as I was concerned. Um, realistic goals? Absolutely, no problems at all. I, I was quite happy with everything. I was part of the innovative project. Um, Important components for making innovation happen, drive, ambition, the want to do it, um, but also staff that are prepared to do it as well and to get on board and have a go. That's mine. Thank you.